So today's my birthday. I'm 34 today. And I thought it'd be fun to just do a quick little video here where I am going through the last year, the last 12 months of images and picking out 33 of my favorites. These aren't necessarily the best photos I've taken, but they are either very meaningful or photos that I think are really good. It's kind of, um, kind of a mix. So we're going to just dive right in here because I don't want to take too long. Uh, this first photo here, uh, this is from a powwow that I was, uh, I was asked to shoot at. I adore this photo. I think it's really beautiful. I love that you can just kind of see the fall off and you can see another dancer in the background. Next one here, this is from September. This is my partner. I picked this one just because, um, I and mean, this has been my phone background for a while. And I think she looks absolutely stunning and beautiful. And um, it was really fun too, because this was a day where I was just feeling very like frustrated and just like at my wits end with creativity. And then I said, hey, can we just go take some photos? And she was game for it and it was awesome. And we had so much fun. There were so many cool photos from that night. Okay, uh, this is from September 14th. This is Malcolm. He is a player for the Calgary Stampeders, which is a Canadian football league team. Uh, yeah, I just thought it was a badass photo, super fun. This is from New York. This photo in particular, I really loved because it was sort of like just this slice of life moment. She's just hanging out, having a bite and I totally got caught taking this photo and it became one of my like absolute favorites from the whole trip. Uh, this one here, like this dude just looks, you can tell like he's just in like the busiest part of downtown. He's so unimpressed with his job but it's what he's gotta do. And the hat is the, the best. The whole thing is just awesome. So this one here is from the uh, the OUA track and field, um, uh, I don't know, end of year finals thing. I don't shoot a lot of sports, but I really like shooting running. And, and I really love this photo. It's right at the finish line. You can tell he's just like finished his kick. He's just barely making it through. You can see another person behind him. Uh, this is awesome. I, I, not even, like, I think it's a cool photo, very behind the scenes kind of thing, but this was the night where Kofi basically convinced me I should start uh, a YouTube channel. Uh, this was right before I left for Calgary on a trip. This was uh, a quick little branding session I did with a local realtor here. We were getting a whole bunch of photos. This one I just really liked. I just I think the composition is cool. This was just a really nice one. I just thought it was, it was interesting. Uh, you can see like lots in focus. You can see the silhouette in the background of like some farm silos and stuff. So I thought it was cool. This is the weirdest little cabin that's just on a random road in our uh, area. And I have no idea why it's there. This one has nothing to do with being a great photo other than this is my partner and her little boy and it just makes me smile so much. This one, this was the last day of the year. This was December 31st, 2023. This was a, um, a 24K run that we were doing at the run store that I help out at sometimes. And uh, this is Bernard. He's like one of the kindest, most generous, sweet people in the running community in Ontario. And uh, this was just a quick snap of him, but I just loved the like quiet moment he was having amidst all the chaos. I, I just, this was really cool because this was also part of a shoot that I did for like the first YouTube video I did where I actually got a little bit of traction. It started to pick up some views and was the first one that got over a thousand views. And that, that was really cool. And and uh, yeah, I just, I love this photo. Uh, this one is actually a context photo. So this isn't the main photo, but this was part of a shoot I was doing. Just a quick thing with my buddy Curtis. I like this photo, but the photo I really like is this one. Um, I had him do this whole thing with his hands so I could stitch together a whole bunch of photos. Um, but I just really liked this moment. He's a climber too, so he's got like strong badass hands and I just, I think it's really cool. This photo in general, I was going like nice slow shutter speed. I wanted to get some movement, but she was so still. I thought it was cool. Uh, this is another context photo. This is a shoot with Ryan. So I wanted to kind of show what we were up to that day, but this is the photo. So there was this statue and I basically wanted to get him mimicking what the statue was doing seated on this amphitheater. And I just thought it was an interesting idea. This was a portrait shoot that I had done with, um, with Jess and Shane and uh, yeah, there were so many great photos from that day, but this was one that just was really meaningful to me. I thought it was pretty. I like that you can see them looking at each other in the background. It's sort of like they're just doing their thing. I'm focusing on her hands, but yeah, I thought it was cool. So this is not, not the greatest photo in the world. It's nice, nice enough, but um, the, I was shooting video on this wedding and this was the first ever wedding that I shot this year uh, and ever. And that was really important for me because it, it helped me to sort of solidify that, yeah, I think I do want to shoot weddings. So, so Liam Good, who's an incredible photographer, had me out um, doing video and I snapped a few photos. And this is more of just like a reminder kind of photo. This was obviously during our wonderful eclipse that we had. Um, this was 
just fun, all these old people hanging out and the dog not knowing what to look at, just looking straight forward, but I liked this photo. This is just a random snap that I grabbed while I was uh, on my way to Chicago, actually. This is in Toronto, and I saw this person standing there and they looked super cool, they had a skateboard with them. I mean, they're obviously cool. Uh, and I liked, the, I liked the lighting on this. This was sort of golden hour -y time, um, like kind of like 5.30, this might actually say exactly what time, five o'clock in April. So we're getting really nice lighting at this point and it's all kind of streaming through all these beautiful buildings. Uh, this was in Chicago. This is not like the best photo from the night. I was shooting an event, but I just thought it was super cool because the people involved in this, like that's DJ Icy Ice and he's a legend. And uh, this is my first time meeting Prop and he is super, super cool. And yeah, the whole thing is just, just sick. I, I, I loved that event and I had some other photos I liked more, but this was like the best photo I had of the three of them just kind of like being homies. And yeah, I love this photo. This is Omari. Omari is a barista and also a photographer actually. And he's a great photographer too. And this was just a really nice moment that we got to have. I took a bunch of photos. I liked this one. I just like the framing. I like how he's sitting, that kind of thing. So this is Caitlin. Caitlin is very well known on the internet. She gets a lot of hate and she has transmuted that hate into being a very profitable business for herself. She was on Your Mom's House, the podcast. Uh, she blew up on TikTok. She's such a kind being. She's super, super sweet. And uh, so I just, I liked this photo because uh, this one got crazy engagement online, which is cool. It got like 10,000 likes. It got a lot of hate too. But um, I just liked that I was able to capture something, you know, that, that Caitlin could be proud of, that Caitlin could like, and um, that she could use for whatever she needed to. And we have been talking about taking a photo together for so long. So we just we just jumped out really quickly and took a few photos, and this was one of them. This is my partner again uh, in her in her strawberry red phase. Uh, this is just a beautiful photo. I just thought it was fun, golden hour. Chris Rules, uh, I've known Chris forever. He started cutting my hair in like 2010 or 11, no, 2012 maybe. I mean, he's cool as hell. There were tons of cool photos from Italy. I, I just thought this one was interesting lighting and everything. This was like, I did a bunch of street photography there, but I was also there shooting for a brand. And so it was a pretty busy week. And I just had a few moments to snap some photos and I really liked this moment. This was an engagement shoot with my first ever couple that I have of my own, um, which is really cool. So this was just uh, a really, fun moment we took to try and play around with something interesting. I was obsessed with this waiter. He looks like he could be like one of my uncles, which I think is sick. Uh, he looks like everybody's Tio. <laughs> um, but yeah, he just he's cool as hell. And I loved this photo. This was just a few days ago. This was on Thursday. This is actually that last couple that I was shooting the engagement shoot for. This is her sister. Um, we went to Allure Gorge and I, I felt like we were just getting like Tuck Everlasting vibes and I loved it. And I thought it was so much fun. And her dress is just incredible. And one other one, just sort of like a different weird perspective that I thought was cool at like Golden Hour. Finally, a couple photos here from a shoot that I did just on uh, Friday, I think. Yeah, Friday afternoon. This is um, Alexandra and Willem. I don't want to show too many photos of this because he's not my kid. But uh, the whole point of this shoot was we were really trying to show the loft space that they live in as well as photos of them because it was meaningful to them to have the context of where they lived. Well, meaningful to her, he's a baby. So those are 33 photos that I liked and that I appreciated taking this year. And I appreciate you. Peace.